Gillian at Biscuit Healing Therapies. As you can see today we've got a change of scenery. I'm at a stone circle in the Lake District which is the northwest part of England. Quite a lot of Celtic energy around here. So I thought I'd do this video just to share about some of the work that I do um, in terms of planetary healing etc. Look it's a beautiful stone circle. Yeah so what one of the things that I've been doing in the last 10 years, well, nine years actually, to be precise, is um, bringing in a lot of Earth energy, so a lot of energy from, uh, from the planets to heal the ley lines. So I just wanted to really share. I know a lot of people watching videos like this do this work anyway, but this is my take on it. So. What I've been doing is, you know, a lot of these sacred sites are very much linked to the ley lines. So one of my jobs, because my primary purpose to be here on this planet is to be an energy director. So my job is to bring in the light from the universe, anchor it down into the planet um, using my body as a vessel. So my body, if you like, opens up portals and I'm able to bring the highest and best light through and anchor it down into the ley lines. Now, I've been visiting lots of um, ancient sites, just guided there intuitively, and I've been working quite a lot with Merlin. Sometimes we do clearing work where there's bad energy and we need to clear it. Uh, and then other times it's just a case of bringing in the light. So, um, all of these sites originally were set up by the ancient people, the, um, the relatives, if you like, of people that survived Atlantis. So they brought with them the ancient knowledge. And originally there were um, very positive things set up to bring in energy points to activate our planet, you know. There's so much more that we don't know about the world and about our planet but originally we knew these things so we knew we could energize the planet by um, bringing in the light and the energy that's what they were used for originally then of course the dark hats the dark forces got hold of them and inverted quite a lot of this energy so a lot of them have been used for negative purposes so like I say, some of the work I've done has been to clear the negative purposes, um, but most definitely the last nine years I've been working really hard on the grid, um, as in the energy grid. So I'll just share a little bit about what I do, because I know if you're a healer yourself like this, it's interesting to see how other people work. So this is totally and purely intuitive. I've never been taught by anybody on this planet what to do. I just know what to do because I'm bringing lifetimes of knowledge to how I do it. So I kind of open up my body as a portal, like I say. Um, I usually start with my Earth Star Chakra, which is on the base of the feet. I know a lot, I've done these before on some of my videos. Um, and then I move up to my sacral, sorry, my base, my sacral, my navel, my solar plexus, my radiant golden heart, my throat, my third eye, my crown, my corsal, my soul star, my stellar gateway. So I open all that up visually and then I imagine all the light from the seven suns coming down through my body and I ask that the free will of me as a human, organic human being on this earth plane is opened up to these energies and I bring it down and I visualise it coming through my body, down through my feet, down through my earth star, into the ground, into the ley lines, this pure golden beautiful light energy and I see it surging through the ley lines or surging like plasma almost going down through the energy points of the earth so that's one way I do it sometimes I connect these ancient sites definitely I have a little mantra I do the same process but then I'll say restore refresh re-energize I've got some sheep here say hello. so I'll say restore refresh re-energize restore refresh re-energize that'll be and restore refresh re-energize things in threes and I'm 
opening it up and sometimes I open them all up and I ask to connect with all the other sacred sites so it's like a network energy it's dots joining the dots so I do quite a lot of that um, the clearing work sometimes I ask I'm always working remember with my dragons my um, angels So yeah, I just thought I'd share this, it's a beautiful place, but you know, you don't have to be elaborate, you don't have to come to these places, I'm just blessed to come to them. So I said to Merlin, you keep bringing me to these places and I'll keep doing the work, but so far he's kept the bargain up, so it looks like I'm forever on holiday, but actually I am doing the work. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> all right sending you lots of love and oh yeah just one last thing you don't have to come to these amazing places all you can say and even if you don't know the process or you don't want to go through the process of opening up your chakras to all you can say is i ask that energy is um the highest of energy is linked through me um into the world into the earth and just visualise yourself anchoring some energy in, into your back garden. It'll work, it'll all have the same effect. And you know, I'm delighted to see there's more and more people doing this work and the light's getting stronger and stronger and bringing us towards the ascension process. One last thing, because this came to me last night as well. Just remember, as one door closes, another door opens. So that that seems to be an important message going forward just remember that you know if doors are closing on you remember another one opens and it's all for a reason sending you lots of love bye for now